Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my final brand battle of this series. Now this one is a bit of a whopper. I've got two YouTube powerhouses battling it out. I've got By the Lane's Dynamite Clay up against the Salon Guy's Earth Clay. So guys, I've really, 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 really enjoyed making these brand battle series. I just think it's been something totally different. And the sort of reception from you guys has been the best. So if you want to see another series, you know, more of the same, and then taking it up a notch, then guys, please do let me know in the comments below, and I'll look to do that. But in this brand battle, I've got more of the same. I'm going to talk about what the products actually are the packaging, the smell, the consistency, the ease of application, the styling, the finish, the hold, the washability, the price, and then finally the verdict and who will win. But guys, if you are new to my YouTube channel, hello, then please do hit the subscribe button right now. It's going to be just below this video. But here you go guys, it's by the lane up against the salon guy. Now guys, both products are clay, so we've got a nice even playing field by what they say. They are both by YouTube creators. You've got Steven from The Salon Guy, who's got 20 plus years of hairstyling experience. I mean, this guy knows what he's doing. If you've seen his channel, he does cuts, he does products, he does loads, and he's also got his own product line. Now this is from a new product line by him, and this is the Lux Collection, and this is called Earth Clay, made with certified organic ingredients. And when you look at the ingredients, you do have all this sort of good stuff. A lot of it, I'm like, what the hell is that, Steven? But Supposedly it's good, we'll see. And then guys, the other one is the Dynamite Clay by the guys Emil and Rasmus of Slick Hard TV. Now these guys are superstars of YouTube, their channel is huge and they've got loads of products. Um, this one is a clay wax, it says it's dry, stronghold, volume boost, and then, although this is oil based, this one is water based. Packaging much of the same as what we've seen always. I'm getting a bit bored of it, but meh, it seems to work. We've got By Lane in their usual sort of black branded, and then they've got this sort of coppery bronze writing on it. Versus the Salon Guy, which has got this transparent tub, the silver hardware, and then this sort of red detailing on it. Now, again, guys, I'm not too inspired by each of them, but I think one of them looks just slightly more premium and also feels more premium. So the point goes to the Salon Guy. Throughout these brand battles, I've said that smell doesn't really bother me. You know, I just want the product to do what it's supposed to do. But if we are going to stick our noses into it, then the Salon Guys one smells quite sort of sand-like. It's got, I say quite like sand-like because it smells exactly like Hans de Foucault's quicksand. And if you know that scent, then that's what you've got here. Versus the By the Lane one, which actually doesn't really smell like anything at all. They do have a new release one, which has got a slight minty scent to it. But this one, I mean, if anything, smells a little bit synthetic. So really, the point for smell, just because it's all right, goes to the Salon Guy. Looking at the consistency of the products, neither really feels like what a clay, I think, should feel like. Now, the Salon Guy's one is nice and smooth. It's very light. It's got a slight chalkiness to it. Again, like that quicksand one, but you can get it into your hands and warm it up. Versus the By the Lane one, which is slightly more waxy to the touch. It does warm up, but it is slightly thicker. So the point for consistency, just because it is slightly more like what I think a clay should be, goes to the Salon Guy. For ease of application, we're literally saying how easy is it to apply that product to your hair. Now the Salon Guys one warms up nice and easily, it goes straight through the hair, there's absolutely no tugging and it's very smooth. Versus the By the Lane one, which is slightly more sort of sticky in texture, it goes through but it does tug just slightly. So the point goes to the Salon Guy. Now for styling, I did both of these on a day that I went to London Fashion Week. So I did one on one day and one on the other. Now the Salon Guy's one, it says a little goes a long way, but actually I had to use quite a lot of the product. When I put it into the hair, I found that it didn't give it much structure. And when I was styling in the usual way that I would go, I couldn't really keep it up. So guys, what I did is I flipped the hair versus the By the Lane one, which I did the next day, put it straight into the hair and pushed it up. And it actually just created this really great structure. It did exactly what I wanted to do. It did what it was told and I was really impressed. But guys, because I pushed my hair the other way the other day, I decided to do exactly the same for this. And again, it just shot up where I wanted it. So the point for style just because it was so easy goes to By the Lane. Now both products say that they've got a matte finish but actually when I used the Salon Guys product I found that it had a slight shine to it. Now guys that was even before I really layered the product up. I found that it had a slight gloss to it versus the By the Lane one which had a really great matte finish to it which actually is more like a clay. So just because I preferred the way that it looked in finish the point goes to 
by the lane. If you saw my video from yesterday and you also follow me on Instagram, then you know for the past few days I've been on Men's Fashion Week and I'm actually going out later on today. I thought this was the absolute perfect slash ultimate place to properly road test these products. The hair is still here, even though we've got the rain. It's not really had much of a hold, it has been moving around, but guys, I've actually been touching my hair quite a lot. It's funny, my hair actually felt like it had too much volume this morning. I really had to sort of battle it. It seems to be doing okay. It's still got quite a lot of flex to it. The hair product has been in for 11 hours. Apart from this bit, which I didn't even notice, we're looking okay, actually. The Salon Guys product was fine. It did drop slightly, but actually, I think this product would be perfect for guys with slightly shorter styles versus the By Lane one, which actually had really great hold. Fine, it dropped slightly, but I could push it right back up. So the point goes to By Lane. Washability, I mean, it's unsurprising. The Salon Guys one has got oil in it, so it did wash out, but to fully wash it out, it needed shampoo versus the water-based one By Lane, which came out absolutely no bother. So the point for washability goes to by the lane. Now price always comes down to where you live, the portion of your packaging, the taxes and all of that. So I have linked both of them down below so you can check them out for yourself. But the By the Lane one is £16 with portion and packaging, it makes it £20 or $20 with portion and packaging at $6 makes it $26. Now the Salon Guys one in the US is $21.50, $5.99 portion and packaging making it $27.49. If you're in the UK it's still all worked out in dollars, it's $21.50 with a shipping of $24.99. I'm sorry. No. So the point for price and value goes to by the lane. The verdict. We have got four points for the Salon Guys Earth Clay versus five points for by the lane's Dynamite Clay. So based purely on points, the winner of this brand battle is by the lane. Now points are just points. We know that. It all comes down to personal preference, your hair type, what kind of hairstyles you want to do, you know, where you live, how much it's going to cost. But I would say, you know, the Salon Guys new range, I'm really excited by. You know, I've got all the products over there. I'm still to try them all. But I did like this, you know, although it didn't win the brand battle. But there you go guys, my final brand battle of this series. You know, as I say, do let me know if you want to see more brand battles and I will consider making a second series. I've really enjoyed this. I've got to say, I've really enjoyed it and thank you so much for the continued support, for getting involved. It's been amazing. But guys, make sure that you subscribe if you still not press subscribe, it is up there. Also, a full brand battle series, look back on it right there. Press that playlist, stay with me and watch. But guys, I'm going to see you in my next new video. Bye bye.